want to quickly discuss the difference of the resistance probes that we use in the ESD association for measuring things. First, I'm going to start with our typical probes that we use for most of our measurements, including work surfaces, floors, garments, and various other things. These are 2.27 kilograms in weight. They're 63 and a half um, millimeters in diameter. They're made out of a conductive rubber. So we use these to measure point to point of work surfaces, point to uh, ground for compliance. Typical use, this is a small work surface. This is a point to point measurement. And then typically you would use these and plugging it into a ground back here. And resistance to ground measurements. The next probe that I'd like to show is a concentric ring probe. As you can see, we have two rings. These are made out of conductive rubber also. Same weight as the solid probes, but they are used to measure the resistance from the outer to the inner ring. We use this mostly in packaging. So if you have uh, the standards 1111 or 1112 surface and volume resistance, this is the probe that we use. Very simple. First, we'll use an insulated support surface for surface resistance. Put the probe down. Now it's from the inner ring to the outer ring. Make the measurement. Simple as that. So that gives me the surface resistance of this package. If I want the volume resistance, it's the same probe. Flip it up and put the metal tentric rope here. And now we're just using the inner probe to measure to the metal plate below. So through the volume of the material. You can see they're both in the conductive range. Now at times our packages are so small that a concentric ring doesn't work. For example, this type of package. You see it's injection molded, concentric ring doesn't work. So in these cases, you want to use a small two point probe. This would be 1113 Pro. Same type of thing. I'm going to hook up. And this is going to be the resistance across two points. Push down. Now notice one thing about the construction. They do have conductive rubber feet. We don't use the steel part of the, of the feet. Push it down. And you can make a measurement in small objects. These are the three most common probes that we use in the association to measure resistances, but you have to be sure to pick the right probe for what your application is.